Hey guys, what's up? It is Retro Gamer Gabby, and today I am going to be modding a Game Boy DMG today. I am doing an IPS mod for the first time, and I am doing it fittingly on the original Game Boy. Uh, custom shell that I have here from, I believe it's Retro Modding, and it is gorgeous, might I add. Yep, Retro Modding, there's our sticker. I am not paid for this, by the way. I am doing this out of my own pocket and happiness because I'm excited to try these mods for the first time. And extra pieces for the shell. It is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I love Castlevania, if you could not tell. This was a failed front light mod Game Boy back when we were doing backlight and bivert mods. It was not a front light. If I said front light, I'm going to correct myself. It was a backlight and bivert mod. And this is one of the ones I failed on getting the screen off without breaking it. I think I did that to like three or four DMGs and I kept them as parts and still have them together, but turns out, this mod is going to be perfect for something like this. Though I will say the front motherboard can be used otherwise, but the screen on there, eh, obviously it's dead. The other thing I want to say before I get into this video is, uh, this is the glass screen that they give you for the mod, which will fit the screen size. I had an extra glass screen from when I used the mod, and it is going to be too small for the mod you can't already tell so I will still add this screen on however uh, funny playing does not have the glass screens for the IPS mods in stock right now and I'm gonna wait until they get back into stock because I will end up removing this one and putting one on it but that'll be for my aesthetic so I can use my mod my new modded Game Boy coming up um, what we have here also is a bracket for the LCD screen mod so that it goes in correctly. Um, I will say this is going to have to be modified. The uh, in internal screw ports and everything because I'm going to need to um, modify it to fit the screen. The screen's going to be playing around here and in fact I th think that's for the Game Boy Color. That you have to modify the d-pad but i can't remember if you have to modify the d-pad i think it's for the game boy color though so i accidentally broke this in my haste of being excited and opening this mod for the first time so there is the lcd screen with ribbon cable already attached and here is the board of buttons and everything there's a new um, wheel, contrast wheel, instead it's not contrast, which is pretty cool. The gasket and uh, extra, well not extra, but the ribbon cable you're going to need to connect to the back motherboard of your original DMG. This gasket is to hold the screen in. I'm going to put up a forewarning here. If you use this whole gasket, all of it, all around your screen, you're possibly rendering your screen useless if you ever need to go back in here and change the screen or clean it or what have you. So I'm going to warn you now, if you do use the full gasket, it is in for good. I know some people are okay with that. I am not because I like to go back into things and maintain them. And I'm going to need this gasket to be able to release the LCD screen. So I'm only going to be cutting up different parts to seed it in, but it will not be fully um, undone, the 3M tape here. That's going to mostly stay on for the most part. Now that I got that out of the way, the other things I'm going to be using are craft knives because that is how I'm going to shave this. I also need to grab out my um, flush cutters. And then I also have um, heat tape to protect the um, chips and everything on the 
back of the LCD screen just to keep everything safe. So without further ado, I am going to remove the original shell and take out all the screws. I might end up using the screws in this um, Game Boy here, but I'll figure that out. But I'm essentially going to unscrew the six screws in the back of this, the four screws that hold the back motherboard in, and the 10 screws that aren't, is it the 10 screws? Yes, it is the 10 screws that hold in the front motherboard. And I am going to reapply it in here with the same screws. I'm just gonna play around with the back motherboard first, put that all in, and then I will show you what I'm gonna do with the front motherboard. I'm going to be keeping the shell though, because uh, it's in pretty decent condition. That and the fact that it has its um, external port piece really helps out too. So uh, it's a really good condition original shell. So I am going to take care of it. So on to uh, passing up the boring stuff. I also forgot to mention, which I will add in, um, for the screws, the back of your Game Boy most likely will have a tri-wing screw. So I have a tri-wing head here for my screwdriver. I also have a Phillips head here for the other screws internally. Now I will say I did have one Game Boy original when it wasn't modified. Uh, some do have Phillips head screws in the six places so make sure you double check what screws you have because I one time looked and I'm like oh it has Phillips head so it must have been an earlier model or something so double check your screws and make sure you have the correct screwdrivers for them and I'm going to taking apart the Game Boy Another thing I should mention is you're probably going to need your RF shield from your original Game Boy in your shell just in case your shell doesn't come with a RF shield just so that um, no shorts happen when you're putting your game cartridges into the uh, motherboard. So we'll screw these back in to this new shell and finally apply this back motherboard but i figured i'd let you know now just because i was starting to put it in and i'm like oh you know it'd be nice if i had an rf shield and i'm like yeah i gotta take that out of the back of the motherboard or the um shell rather so just a heads up and tidbit okay another thing to add is i had to take pretty much all of my battery contacts out and put them in the um shell here so this shell doesn't come with completely everything but at least it's pretty much mostly there so you need the battery contacts from your previous game boy you're also going to need your rf shield which i already have screwed in there so all we have left is going to next semi put together this um LCD screen and everything and I'm going to test out the screen to make sure that it works. So that's what my next step's going to be. Okay, so I am kind of starting to put together the screen. I also brought out my bracket for my screen just so that it's ready to be seated. Um, this is already put together, this little piece here connecting to the motherboard. So I will make sure I put some heat or um, I forget what this tape is called, but it's so that uh, heat resistant and also helps so it doesn't short the chips to anything on this ribbon cable and also the uh, board itself. Okay, so an update here. I had to get the speaker out of the original motherboard and move it over to the new motherboard. So I've done that. The other thing I had to do is this came off here. 
this new dial. So I had to resolder it in. I hope it works, but if not, I'll have to play around with it more. But I'm pretty sure I got it pretty secure, but it wasn't secure in there to start. So I think now I'm finally able to uh, put this together so that I can test the screen finally. <laughs> It took a little bit. The other thing I had to do is I modified the uh, shell a little bit and I took off these two screw ports here with flush cutters and then I um, flushed it out with, well not flushed it out, but I made it flush for the screen with a uh, craft knife. So that is what I did. And then uh, I'm going to test out the screen first, but I have modified the shell almost to what I need to. I also need to um, make the screen larger. I just have to see where my measurements are going to be whenever I put the screen in there. So there's going to be some fiddling around I do, but uh, so far the process is slow, but it is going well. I actually am enjoying this though. So next up is going to be testing the screen and seeing how much of this I need to take off. All right, so I had to attach the front motherboard and everything together, so here is the moment of truth to see if this screen works. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I heard my volume, but it does work nonetheless, so now I'm going to play around with the screen here and figure out where my alignments are going to be made so that I can cut the screen properly. Got it. I'm going to get a sharpie to line what I need and then go from there. Alright, so I made the proper cuts. I am just trying to align my gasket, so I am going to add my screen now. So I am going to do that and I will show you what it looks like once I get the uh, protector on there. All right, so I put some capped on tape, finally remembered what the name of it was, on the back here just to keep that little chip protected since everything here is gonna be protected and just to keep the uh, ribbon cable down. Uh, what I learned from a video I'm watching is just to leave this double-sided tape in here. It's just to provide cushioning. I will not be um, taking it off just so that I don't cause any damage, but here's what the screen looks like. It looks really good. Should probably take off the uh, front lens here, but I am going to connect the um, ribbon cable to the back here. Make sure your tabs are up so that you can put the ribbon cable in. And I already put in this just so that I could test the uh, motherboard itself. So you'll want the silver side up on this ribbon cable and the same here when you want to connect it with the back half. And I am going to get this put in and connected. And uh, also you'll want to put your buttons in. So mine came with buttons, so I will be putting buttons in and I will be taking the membranes out and uh, cleaning them and putting them into this new system for it. All right, so the eight screws that you need in there are in there. Like I said, these two are gone, so now there's eight screws that need to be in there. You can now connect your ribbon cable to the back half of your motherboard. Test the screen, make sure it is to your liking, though it should be, and we will look at the finished product in a second, uh, because once I meld it together, there's still the six tri-wing screws that I need to put into the back half of this. So I am going to take the batteries out and connect this and um, put the screws back in, and then we will look at the finished product. All right, try number two. I fixed the area around the contrast wheel and I also fixed, hold on, let me adjust my Xbox here. And then I adjusted a little bit up here as well for the power switch. I put in Pokemon Blue just so there's a game in there for me to try. Moment of truth. 
Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Holy colors. Oh, this is awesome. And then... You can get the pixels the way it used to be. This is the Pixel Mod IPS screen for funny playing. So let me, let me hit start here and you'll see all the grid line that went to Game Boy games. Isn't that amazing? They did such a fantastic job with this. Yeah, Boba Fett. <laughs> but, oh my god. All the pixels like we used to know and love. Now let me hold it again. You have to hold it in. And it turns it off. So that way you don't have to... You don't have to have the pixels like you used to. It's actually pretty cool. So, let me turn on my light here real quick. Okay. That is the Funny Playing IPS Game Boy DMG mod. I had very little soldering I had to do, and it was actually very easy. Um, I will be getting a new lens for this because I didn't really want gray. I'm going to go with a black. So whenever they get back um, on the website for Funny Playing, I will be ordering a plain black um, screen lens, but it is a very nice looking Game Boy if I do say so myself. Look at that. Oh man, cover art for Castlevania. Thank you, Retro Modding. That is an awesome one. So, the next mod that I, next video that I'm going to be doing is for a Game Boy Pocket. I will be modding it with a backlight as well also from funny playing so stay tuned for that one and until then hope you guys enjoy the video and i will catch you guys later